Welcome to Lead Code's Blind Curated 75, where I'll be solving the 75 essential lead code questions. This problem is called three sum, and it's mm, very frustrating. Here's the thing. With three sum, what I always remembered was you could solve it by using a nested for loop and inside of the nested for simply use a two sum solution. So basically, normally, if this were solved brute force, you could solve it in n to the third power, but you could reduce that down to n to the second power by using a two-sum solution in the nested loop. So it was something like this. First, we'll initialize our output, and we'll say for i in um, range of, uh, let's see, I guess just length of nums, and then we'll say, for j in range of i to the length of nums. What do you do? Just do a typical two um, sum solution. So we'll have our lookup. Here we can make that a set. And we'll check. Well, let's first calculate what's the value we want. And that'd be the nums of i plus nums of j. And we have to subtract here because that's going to be what's required for us to get our solution. And if x in lookup, then we could append to our output the nums of i, man, a lot of typos, nums of j and x. We'll make that a list. Okay, otherwise, Add it to the diction, add it to the set. So we'll add it to our set. Add. What do we add? We need to add the uh, not the x, the current number that we're on. So num numbers j. And that should have been it. So imagine my surprise when I ran it and found that. Oh, this is even. Worse, I remember two and two. Why is that there? Uh, hmm. Two and two. I in length of nums. I j i j nums. Oh, okay. We've added duplicates. Okay, so plus one. Either way, though. I don't get the right answer. And I was pulling my hair. Why is this not correct? And I realized, oh, what my algorithm does is count negative 1, 0, 1 as one solution. and also counts 0, 1, this negative 1 as another solution. So in my opinion, I felt like that should be correct. But here they said we want to find all the unique triplets. Uh, and that made this much more tricky because we could count two negative ones um, in our solution. But if we have a solution that uses a different set, but it's the same combination, that shouldn't count. We've already offered that as a solution. Okay, so how could we solve this? Well, there is one other way, um, accepted way, and I didn't want to use that, but... Unfortunately, that seems to be the only way to solve this. And what you would have to do is, if we could sort our list, then we can actually solve, uh, we don't even need the two sum solution, we could have a two pointer solution, but we'd still need this nested for loop. Um, but this allows us to do some tricky things to make sure that we're not going to have duplicate combinations. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, the first thing is, all right, well, first we need to calculate our L and R. So L will be equal to I plus 1 in this case, and R will be equal to, again, length of nums, uh, but subtract 1. Okay, so while L is less than R, what do we do? Uh, well, let's first check. Is nums of I plus nums of L? plus nums of j, is that equal to zero? 
because if it is, then we want to immediately add that to our output. So we'll just add all three of these into a list. Um, go. And once that happens, we could add one to our L and subtract one from our R. Okay, otherwise, if the value turns out to be greater than zero, well then, uh, then it's greater, so we want to de decrease the amount, so subtract L, uh, subtract one from R, otherwise, we want to add to our one. Okay, so let's see what happens when I use this. Oh, I forgot we need to make sure to not count duplicates, right? So if, um, uh, let's see, if, if uh, I is greater, okay, if I is greater than zero, um, and uh, nums I equals nums I plus one, then just continue. All right, so let's try that. Got a J, oh, not J, my fault, R, uh, R, R. So I thought this might solve it. Oh. What now? Oh, stupid. Yes, because we want to check the previous one. Okay, so that seems to work. Now let's submit that. But again, we get a wrong answer. And I pull my hair and pull my hair, and then I realized, oh God, we also need to care about the duplicates here. So how do we need to do that? Okay, well, while, um, and this part's tricky. It's while, uh, first make sure we're not gonna break that. And uh, for nums of L uh, equals nums of, let me think, uh, so it's L plus one. Uh, we want to actually increase our L plus one as well. And do the same thing, but on the opposite side. Uh, but this one for R and R minus one. Okay, so let's try that. And finally I solved it. And this, I could not believe, like, this is the accepted solution. Um, because of that one little caveat, we don't want unique unique output, or we want all these combinations to be unique. It was very tricky because you don't want to, you know, have to do some sort of check every single time to sort it and, and create a set. Um, but this seems to work. Um, it's the most accepted method. Honestly, like, I knew about the two-pointer method, but this part was really confusing. I had to look that up. So anyway, hope that helps.